Hello there, this is Glenn Berry from Dr. DMV LLC, and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're going to cover Query 11 Host Info, Query 12 SQL Server NUMA Info, and Query 13, which is System Memory. This series of videos is going through the complete set of my SQL Server 2019 Diagnostic Information Queries. These queries are available for free at glensqlperformance.com resources. And also, I want to make sure you understand that there's different versions of these queries for different versions of SQL Server. So if you're using an older version of SQL Server, you can still learn a lot from these series of videos. Just make sure you run the appropriate version of my queries for your version of SQL Server. Let's start with Query 11. This query reads from the SysDMOS Host Info DMV. This is a fairly new DMV since it was added to the product in SQL Server 2017. At a high level, this query simply tells you information about your operating system. Remember, since SQL Server 2017, you can run SQL Server on Windows or on supported Linux distributions. Now let's run this query and see what it returns in more detail. So as you can see here, it shows you the host platform, which in my case is Windows, and then the host distribution, that's the exact SKU of Windows, so it's Windows 10 Professional, and then it shows the host release and the host SKU and the OS language version. If we go back to the script, I've got some comments that explain how to interpret the SKU code. So it shows you 48, which is professional edition in my case, and then 1033 is US English for the language. So that's it for query 11. Next, we have query 12, SQL Server NUMA info. And by the way, NUMA stands for non-uniform memory access. This query reads from SysDMOS nodes, and it gives you information about how many cores and workers you have on each one of your NUMA nodes, and you want those to be an even amount, so you don't want more on one NUMA node than the other. And where this normally happens is if you have standard edition of SQL Server installed and you've exceeded the license limit for standard edition, which is limited to the lesser of four sockets or 24 physical cores. So imagine that you have a two socket machine that has two 16 core processors. So you've got 32 total processor cores on that system and SQL Server Standard Edition only lets you use 24 of them. So what would happen is that 16 of the cores would be on the first NUMA node and only eight would be on the second NUMA node. And this query would show that you had that problem. And then I've got a blog post down at the bottom that talks about how to fix that if you run into it. You're still gonna be limited to 24 cores, but it'll let you balance the cores evenly across the NUMA nodes. So after all that, let's go ahead and run this query and see what it shows on my system. So when I run this query, it comes back and I've got an AMD Ryzen 9 3950X in my system and it shows up as two NUMA nodes. And each one of them has 16 CPU cores and there's 16 schedulers, and so it's evenly balanced across my two NUMA nodes that show up with this AMD processor, and that's what you wanna see, but if you ran this on a system with a real server, and you had more cores than you were supposed to be allowed to use, that's when you would see the imbalance. So instead of 16 and 16, you might see 16 and eight, for example, instead of 12 and 12, where it would be evenly balanced with 24 cores. So that's what you want to watch out for. Finally, we have query 13, system memory. This query tells us what the operating system thinks about the memory situation, and it reads from sysdmos sys memory, which is documented right down here at the bottom. If we go ahead and run this query, we'll see what it returns. When I run this, it comes back, and it shows how much physical memory I have in my machine. I've got 64 gigabytes in my workstation, and I've got roughly 50 gigabytes available, and then there's some information about the page file, which for SQL Server, I don't really care about that much, to be honest. If SQL Server is ever using the page file, you've got serious memory pressure issues. And then if we scroll over to the right, the most important column in this query, in my opinion, is the system memory state flag. And in my case, it says available physical memory is high, and that's what I wanna see. And if we go back to the actual query itself, 
it shows you the possible values you can have for that column. And again, you want it to say available physical memory is high, but you might see physical memory usage is steady, or available physical memory is low, or running low, or transitioning. All those are bad. That means that the operating system is under memory pressure. That means that SQL Server is under external memory pressure. And that's something that you do not want to see. That's that's a really big red flag for problems that you might have. And the way to easily fix that is to lower your max server memory setting. And that leaves more memory for the operating system and whatever else might be running on the box besides the SQL Server database engine. This is Glenn Berry, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like more content like this because it really helps the channel out. Thanks for watching.